All right, back at it again with day five of the Keyforge Advent Calendar, the Dark Ember Tree. What do we got today? Ooh, this is not a mass mutation deck. Whoops. Well, there we go. Quick reveal there. We got Pink Voy of the Jeweler's Prison with a Brobnar Shadows and Untamed action going on here. Oh, I wonder what set this is. Is it AOA? Coda? Worlds Collide? I have no idea. Let's find out. Ooh, I, I like the ones that aren't Mass Mutation because I have no idea what it is. All right. Let's see. We got Volcano. Oh, that means it's Worlds Collide. Which means almost all the Worlds Collide stuff is gone. Barn Raising. Calfine. Mog Hunter. Nart. Oh, this deck's trash. Shorty. LOL. Uh, Stillkin. Tremor. Skull. The Flex. Palace Skulls. Signal Fire. And on to Shadows with a Breaker Hill. Hit and Run. Mug. Pestering Blow. Pestering Blow. Ronnie. Ronnie. Simon. Chain Gang. Into the Night. Subtle Chain. Brobnar Plant. And then we got Plasma Nozzle. Maverick. Wow, this tripped me out so hard. I was like, what the heck is this? So Plasma Nozzle, we got a nice Maverick. Look where the Maverick logo is. I've never seen a Maverick upgrade before, I think. This is my first one. So this is neat. So the creature before fight, deal two damage to attack creature with two splash. That's cool. And we got Cauldron Boil. Molfin. Song of the Wild. Camouflage. Flaxia. Panapaka Anga. The Feathered Shaman. Creed of Nurture. Taliga, Xenos Blood Shadow, and of course Toad. Yeah, this deck is um, the worst so far. This one is the worst. That's the answer I'm looking for. Uh, creatures, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen creatures. Raw Amber, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 Raw Ember. First off, I'm not excited about this deck. Just saying. But, if I am going to look for what's positive about this, what do we got here? I'm always glad to see Taliga. Uh, okay, sacrifice this, reveal a creature from your hand. And choose a creature and play from the end of the turn. The chosen creature is going to talk. Okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't really know how that really works. I mean, if NARP's out there, that negates NARP? Question mark? I mean, the things I'm looking at. Okay, so let's do this how I did before. Is, is look at it house by house first. And I'll see how things go together. Signal fire, fine. With palace skulls, that could be actually really good. Flex, the only thing I can see is NARP comes into play with that quite nicely. Uh, again, I'm liking S Skull's great. Tremor's great. Stillkin is awesome. Uh, Shorty is really nice. I like Shorty. Yeah, NARP, it's fine. You know, it's fine. Um, I mean, I just found some best friends here. Why can't we be friends? Yeah, that's what's going on right here. These two are friends, I just realized. Look at that. A match made in heaven. Two bad cards become friends. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Mog Hunter obviously does what it does. Same with Calfine. Barn Raising. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I Barn Raising's fine. And Volcanoes and some a nice board, board wipe action. I'm cool with that. So yeah, the Brobner is just... It just, that's what it is, you know? It's just. 
yeah, I'm 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 not excited nor am I truly disappointed with the Brobnar. It's just the world world's collide Brobnar is what it is. Uh, the fact that it has a pile of skulls is great. The fact that it has a gone skull and shorty, I love those cards. Barn raising could be good, it's gonna be situational. Oh, excuse me. Well Ah, yeah, I'm just bored going through that, you know. Let's go on to the shadows of things. Creature power, super low. The subtle chain with the chain gangs, nice. Double Ronnie, I mean, you're never going to be disappointed for that. Um, Mug's fine. Hit and run's cool, especially with the Ronnies. you got to love that, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, you know what? This is not a half bad Shadow Suite, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the Shadow Suite, actually. Cannot be used to fight? Yeah, that's cool. I think this is cool. The Shadows is, is pretty cool. Now look at, let's look at the Untamed. A Xenos, like the witches in here are pretty tight. Um, creature count in here though is one, two, three. Well, not this one because I'm looking about Song of the Wild. One, two, three, four, five, six creatures with a Song of the Wild. That's solid. I mean, Xenos is pretty tight. Taliga, tight. Creed of Nurture, yeah. Um, like I said, this could be a good opportunity to utilize NARP in that way. I don't know, and I guess you could give something the Xenos Blood Shadow power. Maybe Panpaka. Aside from that, I don't think there's anything that really makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's the one cool thing. Is that I'm I'm excited to test this out within this deck. That's that's something I am looking forward to. Uh, some warding, great. Panpaka make everything bigger. Cool. Flaxia, I think this should be able to go off. Uh, Molfin, yeah. Song of the Wild. I'm hoping that can do some work. Cauldron Boil again. Really good. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? A really good follow up to uh, uh, late nights, early mornings, opening up Advent decks, right? Um, I'm hoping this would be a nice follow-up either to doing a plasma nozzle, fighting into something. I'm just realizing this right now. It's a great, like, oh, look how cool that Maverick symbol looks in the corner there. I'm, I'm still just floored about this. This kind of makes this deck almost, um, almost not so disappointing as having, having this. But yeah, the cauldron boil with this is great because you can double it up. Uh, after a volcano, the cauldron boil can just finish off the board wipe, which is nice. Um, yeah, this, this deck is pretty Reggie. Like, let's be honest, Reggie... <laughs> Reginald P. Not Noteworthy. That's how I would describe this deck. But, I mean, I think it can do some things. The Shadows is nice. I do like the Shadows. Um, the Untamed has potential. But the, the Brobnar is just... It's milk toast. It's I wouldn't call this bad Brobnar by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, it's just not exciting at all to me. I don't know if I am just so jaded over the Brobnar from Worlds Collide after opening so many decks and just being so disappointed that... That even when the, something is not terrible, I'm still just not satisfied with it. I may have that jaded perspective. But I think this deck is going to be very average, to say the least. I do think Shadows is going to do some work. So let me know your thoughts. And uh, am I jaded when it comes to talking about Brobnar? Did I jump to conclusions? Is this pretty good Brobnar for Worlds Collide? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, and as always, may your ember never be stolen and your keys forged promptly. Everyone, have a good one.